Hello, we are Team Dive. Welcome behind our screen. Our movie is all about an ill-fated attempt to save mankind through a greedy industrial process which has a harrowing impact on nature. One of the main challenges was to make a massive, incredible, floating extraction station. We had to figure out how the station would operate, taking into consideration its scale. We also wanted to establish a dramatic mood in the middle of the clouds. For the reactor room in 3D, I used industrial references and our asset library to lay out and set dress the entire room. In order to create a realistic and imposing industrial environment, I made a varied asset bank with different levels of detail that could be used all over the station and inside the reactor room. Based on references of industrial and sci-fi environments, I did the concept and modeling of the platform, as well as the elements such as the control panel, the railing, the radio, and other props. I used Substance Painter to create textures with details like scratches, dirt, and rust, while making sure that it matched to the shooting setup and the integration of the live footage. Finally, I made the shuttle by taking inspiration from various escape pod concepts. Then, I textured it using Mari in order to have a realistic render. The cable plays a primary role in our story. It allows our characters to draw energy from the planet's surface. When the cable breaks, their lives and the success of their mission are endangered. We wanted the scale of the drill to be proportional to the cable and to key assets. The drill model was highly detailed. For the texturing, I added rusty parts, traces of oil, dirt, and all the markings that can be present on a huge industrial mechanism. Next, I rigged the drill to have the precise deployments that I wanted. As VFX supervisor, my job was to find a pragmatic solution on set to anticipate the post-production work. I used the virtual production tool developed by the film team from Relativity to precisely match the live-action lighting with the CG lighting in the 3D space. The interior of the station had to convey a mood of overwhelming panic, so with lighting and compositing, I increased the depth in different shots inside Nuke, mixing livestock shots with FX to achieve a dusty, dramatic ambience that emphasized a sense of chaos. For the drill diving through the clouds, I rendered VDBs and I projected them onto different geometries. I also composited digital matte paintings for several shots to optimize rendering time. We were inspired by the landscape of the film, The Martian, to build a lifeless planet. I used Houdini to create different height fields for total control all along the production. I made my own layout, adding details with height field nodes. Then, I scattered the rocks to give the feeling of large scale. For some shots, I improved the mood with matte paintings. The explosion of the cable is a dramatic turning point in our story, so it had to appear huge, realistic, and scary. I simulated different layers of smoke simulation with dust particles and created a custom electricity generator to add complexity to the whole effect and reinforce the realism. The stakes for the drill crash were similar. The ground dust for the FX had to not only match the size of the environment, but also the shape of the terrain. First, I laid out the path for simulation to travel along the surface. Then, I created a velocity field from it. Next, I broke the effect down into layers of individual effects. These were composited with the live FX stock shots to give extra depth. The destruction of the cable is divided into three different shots, so I simulated the FX in three parts. First, I exploited and merged the cable with the EMP shockwave. Second, I unhooked the cable gradually. And third, I let the cable fall and collide with the surface of the reactor room. I chose different materials to create the layers inside the cable, such as smaller cables intertwining around the metal structure and the big compact elastic for the core. I also made different setups with different styles of smoke, like the cloud interaction with the diving drill, the smoke caused by the shuttle landing. To add realism and to break the procedural look, in compositing, I used possession and normal pass. This gave a lot of flexibility to project textures and to relight some assets, even after the final rendering. 
I also keyed and tracked all the shots and I composed stock footage and layers to break the CG aspect. Then, to better integrate both FX and CG and to have a more cinematographic look, I used lens effects such as flares, chromatic aberration, lens distortion and grain. We hope that you enjoy diving through our universe as much as we enjoy creating it. Thanks for watching.